Good morning, folks. We'll start quickly with Earth's geomagnetic situation. The solar wind density spikes were large again, and the speed began rising again the last few hours, generating more magnetic instability above our heads. So yesterday we saw the Vanuatu and Iceland locations have six magnitude readings despite the officially listed magnitude being well lower. Happened again in Japan last night and this morning in Greece, making four potential magnitude six shakes, just as the coronal hole faces Earth. Iswa is showing this to be fairly powerful. We do have only another day of this positive influence from the north. The southern coronal hole incoming is negatively polarized and of significant power as well, about another day or two. We also had a volcanic eruption in Papua New Guinea. Some of the photographs coming in from this area are absolutely beautiful. NASA's Earth Observatory also showing the new island near Japan ever growing in size due to the volcanic eruption ongoing there. Solar eruptions have been somewhat muted as the flare energy is low, and the sunspots look unprepared to change that. Just not enough mixing with the beta spot up north. Meanwhile, the incoming spots are spread magnetically and lack significant size. That leaves the plasma filaments as the primary eruption threat. The incoming rope is hundreds of thousands of miles long. We actually had a filament destabilize yesterday on the departing half of the disk. Surges around in the corona quite a bit, mostly fell back down to the sun. Interesting article on asteroid collision, detected light years away near a sun-like star. More interesting is the date it was noticed, making one wonder why it took so long to publish. Oh well, Marie in the Pacific is dying but making her mark on the coastline with rain and heavy wave activity even north to California. These videos compiled by weather.com. Shift slightly east and we're in the central US, checking the low and extending northern flow. Right now, NOAA isolated the flood zone to watch, but truly, these storms are affecting a huge area. There will be severe alerts issued in the central states tonight, so please pay attention to your local forecasts. Shifting east once more, we see Cristobal in the Atlantic, and folks, we've seen this with tropical storms and earthquakes, but never with a volcano. Cristobal heading right for the alert under the ice. The low west of Iceland actually draws a convergence all the way through the middle of Europe, wrapping around the low sitting atop Ireland and the UK. Storm zones match accordingly. The power low is just north of being able to affect New Zealand while a minor convergence rolls over Western Australia. This is a minor alert. Mobile Observatory is in Calgary, Alberta today. It is an early event, so check out observatoryproject.com for details. Got the global storm watches and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.20 a.m. here in Calgary. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.